overall a goal of the project is to find a clandestine burial and use the proper archaeological techniques and excavate that burial. So right now the first step that they're doing is do an overall survey of the area and actually right now uh, they are going to stand in the line and kind of travel down this fence line and, um, and, and they have probes so they're going to probe for a burial and see what they think might delineate a grave. It can be on a slope, it doesn't have to be flat surface that we're working with. You know, it could be on a slope, could be on a slant, could be underneath some leaves over there. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Yeah. Not there. Okay. So the main thing today is the discovery of the grave and then the beginning of the excavation which looks at soil changes and then the beginning of the map, putting in the datum point, getting the burial or site of interest situated in space. Uh, and that's the main thing, mapping it in with datums and things at that point. So today's kind of the analytical part of getting the grave situated. Uh, towards the end of the afternoon, bone will be discovered and mainly tomorrow or day three is the actual uh, uncovering of the bone. Well, the fundamental truth about excavation is it can only be done once. And to excavate is to destroy. And so in the process of recovering whatever it is that's buried there, you destroy the context in which it's buried. In the context, the surrounding soil may contain extremely valuable information about the individual artifacts and other things that would help in the process of identification or in trying to figure out what happened to that individual. We're definitely going to be into tomorrow, for sure. Um, I'd say it's, it's several more hours of digging because we haven't even uncovered uh, the second leg bone. Um, we do have the rib cage exposed, both arms, and one, uh, one tibia and fibula, but we don't have the other, the other leg exposed. Well, Knoxville, we've been here for 10 years now uh, training. Uh, it kind of resulted in uh, uh, a need that we identified based on casework that we uh, came across in the field and uh, some international uh, cases that we became involved in. Uh, in, the, in the late 90s, we were over in Kosovo and we were helping exhumed bodies over there. Uh, and we saw the need for some training based on uh, what we experienced over there. Bureau personnel are, you know, some of the best students I've ever had. Uh, they are the expert at the crime scene, and their goal, and our goal really, is to how do you process this unique crime scene? How does the excavator get this in the hands of the expert? We're not trying to turn these agents into anthropologists or dentists or pathologists. They would have wanted to be those things. They would have been them. Uh, they're crime scene specialists, evidence response team, and. My goal is to train them to appreciate this evidence and how do I excavate it and then deliver it to the experts that are going to work on it. Our burial was actually placed in a bin and then last year upon reburial they took that body from the bin and poured it in this unit and so the body is curled up. Uh, it's basically it's a bundle burial so the bones are all bundled together and so some of the issues that you have with that are it's, it's not extended so you pretty much have to excavate in a, in a circular pit. At least an extra skull but I'm guessing there's a body there. Well, as we were excavating uh, this grave site we found the remains of one skeleton Upon further excavation, it appears that we have a second body that's been sandwiched in next to this first uh, set of remains. Definitely think it takes uh, 
a certain kind of person to do this. Um, I never thought I would be able to, but um, as the years have gone by and, and working in this field, you uh, you get a kind of accustomed to it. And, you know, you have a job to do, and, and that's what a lot of times I'm sure it gets a lot of people through it. It's just like a crime scene. Well, I can't do this or I can't do that. Well, it's not about you. It's about the victim, or, or it's about training the agents that need to be able to go into that scene. So, you know, you put that first, and you know, you become kind of inconsequential to the mission. Everyone says to excavate is to destroy, but what they sometimes forget is the other half of the equation, the flip side, because to investigate is to illuminate, and that, after all, is the purpose of the excavation, illumination. <laughs>